February the 20th, 2013. Guys, this is kind of an urgent update. If you know people in this area and they're not watching, try to get in touch with them because it's very important. Pass this video along if you can. I don't care where you put it. It doesn't matter. But what you can see in this area, they're trying to bring these rows together as berms or dams to try to contain the leak here. Up this road is where they put the uh, big rig that we've seen starting to try to uh, drill some wells to let some pressure off. Here, you see the busted pipeline that is floating. And if you look back on the video before this on the salt dome update, <clears throat> it's got links, and I'll put that link here too, to what chemicals go through these. And some of these pipelines go all the way up to Indiana for natural gas. you got some that cross in this area. But the, and you can see that all of this was dry land. Look back on the video before this again. Look at the images there. But anyway, the important thing is this. What they found out today, now the ex experts are saying that more than 50 million cubic feet of gas are below the surface near the giant sinkhole. It says it covers over two square miles. That would go all the way under Corn Bayou, depending on which, which way it went, guys. And it says enough to do very serious damage. This came in at 5.30 this afternoon. It's um, February 20th. Now, uh, it says Gary Hecox, a geologist with CBNI, says the gas currently covers over two square miles. The extent is not well defined. The gas across here is between 2 and 10 feet thick around 50 to 60 psi and pressure said it is enough to have large volumes come to the surface very rapidly if it's uncontrolled it's enough to do very serious damage to anything on the surface if it's not controlled goes on um, in the last month they've identified 20 new bubble sites on the western side of the sinkhole that's this side this would be west this is south now it says we believe this is rela related not necessarily to more gas coming up but we can't exclude that as a possible contributing factor we've estimated the volume of gas in the MRAA at 50 million cubic feet in place he says the first picture say 200 million that what he said was a typo we have an updated estimated we will have an updated estimate probably by the end of the next week and it's probably going to be substantially bigger than 50 million I'm going to put a flyover on the website guys the, the new one today but uh, again this is if we don't know what kind of explosion this is a whole new ball game for the entire earth now also guys this is an update on the video about the uh, rig offshore the gas rig it says drilling specialists have been pumping heavy fluids into a gas well 50 miles off the Louisiana coast. That's in this area. It says uh, <clears throat> in, a, in a bid to halt natural gas moving among underground formations at the site, the intervention is taking place roughly two weeks after worker, workers detected a kick. That's back when we did that video. You can check it out. It says or uncontrolled flow of fluid at the Apache Court well on February 4th. Test detected the hydrocarbon had migrated from the bottom of the 8,300 foot hole to a shallower sand formation 1,100 feet below the seafloor. The company had contracted with the well control specialist at Boots and Coots, a Halliburton company, to try and kill the well. It says with the BSEE oversight, Apache Corp has been pumping drilling fluids into the well to stop the underground flow. Now, <clears throat> it says U.S. regulators have come in today to or yes, excuse me, yesterday on the 19th to order the company to prepare to drill a relief well to control the flow if necessary. The U.S. Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement. It says a well relief is typically used to stop an uncontrolled flow of gas or fluids from a well when other methods fall, fail. All of this is connected. Uh, those salt domes go in, up, right up into the uh, Corn Bayou area. It says natural gas has been said to have been flowing underground for more than a week. 
says Houston-based Apache spokesman Bill Mintz confirmed in an email response to Upstream that the well began flowing natural gas on February 4th. He did not offer an explanation of the perceived cause of the underground gas movement. But guys, this is a heads up. I'm going to put a couple links on it. Be safe.